Hey, what's up everyone? You're watching 77XAK, and I have a little bit of a different video today. I am just uh, in a test world, I've gone to the end, and I'm testing out a new Enderman spawning system that I've made. Um, I'm planning to build this system on my server world, depending on how everything looks to be working. It seems to be going pretty well, so I'll go up and show you the mechanism. I've mostly based this design off of Pandas and DocM77's um, Enderman Farm design. I'll put a link to their videos in the description, so you can go check that out. Um, if you know what that looks like, you'll see a major difference I have here is, number one, this system uses a lot of redstone torches, and number two, this system uses absolutely zero um, sticky pistons. And that's a huge advantage that I think this system has, um, because you no longer have to worry about getting slimes to make this system. You don't need any slimes whatsoever. There are no sticky pistons in this. Um, so that's uh, one of the main reasons I like this. So let's just drop down here, and I'll show some of the ideas I was working with here. So here's the original piston pusher design of pandas and doc -ims. Um It's pretty simple. Enderman spawn here. They're instantly pushed off like so, and uh, it's stacked up like this. Now, uh, one disadvantage of this is, of course, they're using sticky pistons to extend and, re and retract these blocks, and another disadvantage I've found is that you have to use repeaters in this, and uh, repeaters every other pressure plate. That's um, a lot of repeaters and a lot of sticky pistons for the size that you build this. So, repeaters, um, of course, I don't want to make because um, they require actually quite a bit of smooth stone, so that's uh, sort of a hassle to make. Also, getting slime balls, um, the amount that you need, sort of a hassle to do that. So uh, here's the design I'm working with. Um, this uh, piston pusher design was originally made by Ethos Lab. I'll put a link to his video in the description. And uh, pretty much how it works is Enderman will spawn right here on a pressure plate. They invert this torch and turn this torch on. Um, this torch turning on activates pistons that are placed at the Enderman's head level and will push them down. So uh, that's sort of what I've done here. So let's compare these to each other. In this design you're using sticky pistons of course, and in this one you're not. So no slime balls. Then of course uh, the redstone um, is important. The redstone in this design, as compared to this design, is exactly the same, believe it or not. Um, basically, in your repeater, you have three redstone, two for the torches, one for the uh, recipe, three redstone there, and one redstone for the dust here. So that's for two spawning states, sorry, two spawning spaces, four redstone, and then of course the pistons, each piston one redstone. So a uh, total for two spawning spaces in this system is six redstone. In this system, you have two pistons underneath here, two pistons above, and then it, of course the redstone for your pistons which also adds up to six redstone for two spawning spaces. So exactly the same amount of redstone in this design. Um, now let's just look at um, building blocks. <coughs> Excuse me. In this design, you use two blocks here, two blocks behind, um, two blocks in the back, and two blocks for the pistons. That's 12 blocks. 12 blocks? No, I'm sorry. Eight blocks. That's eight blocks total for two spawning spaces. In this design, you have two blocks here, two blocks diagonal, and uh, that's it, pistons above. So this is four blocks for two spawning spaces, and uh, then you can have this however long you want, you'll just continue it like that, add the pistons on. And so this seems to use the same amount of redstone, about half, um, half the amount of building blocks, which is nice. So it seems to be a pretty efficient thing. Um, I'll just turn on hard to see if we can get some Enderman spawns. And uh, one already. So I'm planning to build this in my, uh, on the multiplayer world. So, uh, if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. Tell me what you think about this. And I do believe I have not seen a design quite like this. Um, of course it's based off of other designs, but one like this I have not seen, so I do believe that I can claim this design as my own. Um, anyway, tell me what you think about it, um, give me some feedback. If it goes well and I can build it on the server well, I will try to make a full tutorial on it, though uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I believe you can see, uh, mostly from this, how it's 
put together. So uh, let's go down here and check out these Endermen. We've got quite a bit already. It's just been turned on for about a minute or so. So I'd say that's pretty good. And uh, also, another thing I've done here is uh, in Docim's design and Panda's design, they had a smaller ring here. It was like this, sort of all the way around. And then um, on the, all the way up, every two blocks, they would put a ring like this, so the Enderman would fall straight down. And uh, that seems sort of inefficient to me. You'd have to build a lot of blocks there. So I've just made the landing pad slightly larger. And uh, I haven't gotten any Enderman falling out. I think this guy actually teleported away. Get out of here. Um, I haven't seen... I'm not sure. I don't think that they're getting out of here, getting out of this ring. I think they're teleporting occasionally. Which, uh, you can put water around here to stop that, which I've not done yet. But, uh, you can see this thing fills up pretty fast. And that's not the amount of levels I was planning to go more, uh, more spawning spaces than this test. So, anyway, in the, um, comments, if you have any ideas, suggestions, please tell me. Please give me feedback on how the design looks. And I will hopefully make a tutorial, eventually, depending on how it goes. So, uh, I guess that's all for today. Um, if you want to support my channel, please subscribe, like, and favorite my videos. Um, hopefully going to have some more videos coming out this week, so go check those out. I guess that's all for today, so see you later, everyone. Have fun. Alright, sorry guys, just forgot about one thing, and that's a pretty big feature of this design, so I'll just go up and look at it right here. The way I have these uh, spawning spaces set up, you have your bottom ring right here, the interim will spawn on, and then the next ring above is actually um, all around and moved one block to the outside. And this is just so that the redstone doesn't interfere with each other, um, if that makes sense. The redstone torches don't interfere with the uh, pistons below. And uh, how this would work is Enderman would spawn on these spaces up above. They'd be pushed down, like so. The vines would catch them to prevent fall damage, and then they'd be pushed off by these pistons below. And uh, after that, the design will uh, be repeated. So up here is exactly the same as the first level. Endermen are just pushed straight down. Anyway, just thought I'd uh, show that because that's a pretty big feature. And uh, have a nice day, everyone. See you guys later.